athletes are often thought of as the most super healthy group of people out there, especially young athletes. But there are some previous reports of rather high blood pressure values found in younger athletes, which in turn is known to predispose for hypertension and unfavorable cardiac adaptations later in life. Therefore, we wanted to investigate blood pressure measurements taken at pre-participation evaluation in a large number of athletes over an age span ranging from early high school all the way up to college and adult professional athletes. And if they would have elevated blood pressure, what impact would that have on their hearts in terms of their size, shape and heart function? And finally, what effect would it have on the number of athletes requiring further follow-up and investigations if we suddenly lowered the threshold for when we define a certain blood pressure value as elevated? We evaluated athletes at the time of their pre-participation evaluation, which is the process where a physical exam, a questionnaire, blood pressure and in many cases an ECG are taken in order to rule out any serious inherited or acquired cardiac disease. For comparison of different blood pressure levels we used uh, recent updated US guidelines for blood pressure management in adults as well as the European guidelines which have different thresholds to define a hypertensive blood pressure. As you can see the European guidelines they are more liberal and allow a higher blood pressure both in terms of systolic and diastolic before they term someone hypertensive. One important note however that more than one single blood pressure measurement is required before anyone gets a diagnosis of hypertension and thus our single measurements at the time of the pre-participation evaluation is not sufficient to give any athlete a diagnosis of hypertension. When comparing the European and the US thresholds for hypertension in athletes, some interesting findings emerge. First, with the European criteria, 9% of athletes exceeded the threshold. With the US guidelines, in contrast, as many as one third of athletes exceeded the thresholds and could possibly have been referred to a family physician for follow-up. For all details on which factors that were associated with higher blood pressure and increased the risk of having a value above the threshold, we refer the viewers to our paper. In terms of blood pressure and cardiac remodeling, we found a clearer relationship between concentric remodeling and higher blood pressure, where athletes in higher blood pressure categories by the US criteria had a more concentric remodeling of their heart. But even more important is the question whether higher blood pressure was associated with any differences in cardiac function. And yes, we found that athletes with higher blood pressure had slower filling of the heart or diastolic function. This is often considered an early sign of later, more developed cardiac dysfunction. And this could be seen as a bit worrying considering the young age of, this, of these athletes being in college age or younger in most cases. Regarding the implications of our findings and uh, discussion regarding how we could get even better on measuring blood pressure during pre-participation evaluation, we refer the viewer to our paper in HEART. And importantly, we would really like to stress the fact that physical activity and exercise training is good for you and your heart and your vascular system and actually is an effective method of lowering blood pr pressure in a general population. Finally, on the behalf of, of all co-authors, I, as the corresponding author, would like to thank you for your attention and hope that you will enjoy our paper. Thank you.